Hi everyone, it's Sophia from Velvet Way, and today we'll be making some BJD eyes together. First, you're going to need some molds. These are from Cubico on Taobao, and I have them in a couple of different sizes, 12, 14, 16, and 18. These are very good, and I've used them quite a few times already. I'm going to be using the Art Resin. It's a two-part epoxy resin, and you're going to need two measuring cups. Pour equal amounts of your resin. Of course, if you're using any other type of resin, please follow the package instructions. Mix it very well, and let it sit for a couple of seconds just to let the bubbles out. Then you're going to color your eyes. In this case, I'm using the Cast and Craft color pigment in the color white. And I'm adding just a little bit, not too much. If you add too much, the color might yellow. And now it's time to fill your molds. You can do this by dripping the resin in with a stick, as I'm doing here, or you can just pour it in. There's no real right or wrong way to do this. It's kind of personal preference. Make sure to pop the bubbles using a lighter. And cover your molds while they're curing. After they've cured completely, you can demold them, and I'm doing this here. This one came out very good, no bubbles. So did this one. And this one too. Unfortunately, the last one has a tiny bubble on the surface, but this is not a huge deal. Now, this is the part where you decide how you want your eyes to look. You can use nail embellishments, glitter, all kinds of stuff, sequins. I have quite the collection. I have some tiny metal charms, some rhinestones, and of course I use paint. Uh, now I use gouache paint. I find that works the best. You can also use acrylic and in many different finishes or enamel paints. Those work too. So you're going to want to mix your colors. I tend to mix mine with white. And now it's just time to color. Make sure you do this part very carefully. Be detailed. You know, you want your eyes to look presentable and good. So take your time doing this. Don't go over the lines. Do a couple of layers as needed, depending on the opacity of your paint. Here I'm coloring it with a medium brown, and I decided to add some pearl pigment on top. It's a nice rose color. As you can see, it doesn't do too much to the color. It just adds a bit of a sheen, which is exactly what I wanted, so I'm very happy with how these are going so far. After that, you can mix up another batch of resin and put a couple of drops into each eye, just so we have something to adhere the crystals or whatever you want to use for the iris. If you want an iris, I'm using these half pearl beads. These are actually nail embellishments that I got off eBay. I think they looked very good. And I'm just dropping a couple of drops of resin on top. If you don't want any glitter or anything else into in your eyes, then you can just dome them at this step. Just be very careful not to put too much resin. I decided to add some iridescent glitter, so I'm going to be doming in a separate step. I'm putting just a little bit of the glitter just in the center. And covering it to cure. These have cured, and as you can see, they look quite nice. 
the glitter isn't too overpowering. You can still see the iris. And I'm very pleased with how they look so far. So I've decided to dome them and I've mixed up another batch of resin. This step is very important, so make sure that you don't put too much resin and make sure you don't let it overflow. If you let it overflow, your eyes will be ruined forever and all that work would have been for nothing. And pop any bubbles, cover it up and let it cure completely. Here's an example of some eyes I made earlier and as you can see this one overflowed because I poured too much resin when doming, so beware. And here I have some other eyes that I wanted to dome. These ones have rhinestones for irises. I think they add a lot of dimension to the eyes. They're certainly not realistic, but I think they look quite nice. Popping the air bubbles, covering it up to pure. And here's the finished product. As you can see, they cured beautifully. It's a very nice color. And here's some other ones I've made, the dark blue ones with the rhinestones the sort of sea foam color, the pastel blue, these are an experiment. You can really do any combinations of colors and I made some clear blanks too. Alright and that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to like this video, please subscribe to my channel, and if you liked any of the eyes I've shown in this video or any other combinations that you can think of, you can visit my Etsy and purchase any of them there. Thanks so much!